Continuing on with our epic puzzle-solving journey, this is Geeky Gilbert with a distorted sound uh, emulation problem there, but I can relate to Geeky Gilbert here because I am about a little bit of a nerdy person myself by nature, but so... Uh, this should be a good match because of it. Actually, it won't be. <laughs> oh, shoot, the sound is even messing up on this. <laughs> oh, man, I uh, maybe I'll change emulate. Nah, I won't change emulators. It'll make things interesting. Unless the sound just, like, goes out completely or something like that. That would really suck. Um, maybe I should be doing this on the actual game system when I get that tripod that I ordered and just film off the TV, but eh, I already started this, so I might as well finish it. And uh, so yeah, I got some auto action going on here, this will be awesome. I really shouldn't be tapping on the edge pieces if I don't have to, because the edge pieces are the easiest ones to fit in place, because, well, they're at the edge pieces. Everyone knows when you do a jigsaw puzzle, you start with the edge pieces. Well, you don't have to, it's just a, a very experienced suggestion, so to speak. Okay, maybe not that experienced, I'm just exaggerating for the fun of it. And uh, I'm gonna just use this drain for the heck of it. See, now watch on his side, it drains out all of his items, but saves just a little bit of power on my side. So that may give you an edge in certain situations, like when you need to um, keep keep your opponent away from hitting you with something. Uh, you could either use that mirror or the drain. Both of them work about the same in that context because it prevents your opponent from using items on you. Um, and, ooh, help, 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 help. Yes, give me a little puzzle piece. I am so happy to be assisted by such a cute little puzzle piece. He is the happiest little puzzle piece ever. And he's just gonna place that last piece for me, and now I wait. By the way, you'll notice that the spotlight blacks out uh, because I'm not able to uh, use that when there's no pieces up at the top, which is kind of obvious in a way. Um, as you've seen that black out there, black out there, whatever you want to call it, the thing that only lets me pick from one piece at a time, kind of slows down the little puzzle piece and I, because the object of the, using little puzzle piece there is teamwork. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, shoot. Oh, I wanted to sweep away his puzzle. That would have been just mean of me. But, alas, I must, <clears throat> I must live with my mistake of not getting there fast enough. But that's okay, I'm way ahead of him anyway. Um, I'm gonna reverse his controls just for the fun of it, but he that's not really gonna affect him very much. Uh, if you didn't notice, this guy likes to put in the edge pieces first. Um, just like I explained, but that actually slows you down in this game. So does that. I just did that for the fun of it because this game is over. In case you didn't notice, you only um, have to solve three puzzles before the game ends. No! My concentration power! I'm drowning with sorrow! <laughs> I always found that funny. Okay, hold Alright, revengeful Ryoko is next. Any attacks to slow down her moves are useless and she has a mask on. So maybe she was like a nurse in another in another lifetime or something like that. So yeah, using that thing that slows your opponent down will not work whatsoever. And I pressed the wrong button. I'm I'm just you. That was horrible of me. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're putting together a picture of this tune like dragon here dragon steamboat whatever you want to call it And that goes there. I think yeah uh, Wait, wait, does that no that doesn't go there. Uh, this is actually kind of a tricky puzzle because of all of its fine detailing um, I'm gonna show you what this uses uh, what that looks like really quick as you can see that gives me a silhouette of the puzzle that I was explaining to you in the other part um, so, yeah, it's, it's kind of helpful, but at the same time, it doesn't actually help you go faster or uh, slow your opponent down. So it's kind of a useless thing, um, but it, it might help beginners, like for the early levels of the game, but later on in the game, you're going to have a lot a lot of trouble if you just rely on that. Um, uh, I, oh, I got to help. I can use my little puzzle piece, friend, and wait for it, wait for it. Toon Crocodile Space Cadet, let's go! Whoops, that sucked. Uh, I forgot what the American flag was on that picture, so yeah. <laughs> um, I was just paying more attention to the crocodile's design, actually. Not the- oh, shoot. I'm just failing all over the place. No, wait, wait. No, that's not there either. Arr, and more capital R's. Oh, my little puzzle piece has left. 
but that's okay. I will be able to finish puzzle number two without him. Um, what can I use in the next one? Uh, maybe I'll hit, put my hand on this mirror. Just eh. Oh, we got a cat jumping on a toon dog. I, sh I should say a toon cat jumping on a toon dog. Another silly scene for another silly puzzle here. But, uh, oh, I was, I was going to click the sweeper, but that's kind of useless at this point here. Uh, because they don't have anything whatsoever on their side. You know, no pieces to really obstruct or remove. Uh, a, a nice tip that I could give you for using the sweeper on someone... Whoops, I wanted to go one more down. Um, is... If you, I mean, if you are being hit with the sweeper, try and just f fit in every other puzzle piece. Because what'll that, what'll do is that the sweeper will skip over the pieces, and you'll uh, have next to no adverse effects from the sweeper. But hey, sometimes you can't do that, and that's the point of the sweeper. You know, it's there to disrupt you. And sweeper, yay! Go, little sweeper, go. Use your broom powers and decimate my opponent. And that's the end of the puzzle. Yay! Well, that was pretty easy, just like Staples. Back with more puzzle solving action. This is the end of Ryoko here. <gasps> you defeated my ghostly powers. Someday I'll avenge my defeat. Whoa! Just look at her face. It just looks like she's going, oh, I'm so stunned. Oh no, Disney lawsuit against Atlas. Tinker Belganoff is my next opponent. Yes, I know they are full, ex full of mischief, but mischief is not enough to defeat a puzzle master such as myself. And evidently we got some rose and uh, a letter, perhaps this is a Valentine's Day puzzle. I don't know, I'm just getting that kind of impression from this puzzle. Hopefully I'll do fairly well at it, and I thought that was where the piece of paper would go, unless that was part of the rose structure, I'm not positive. This puzzle is actually kind of difficult, oh no! Difficulty! Who, in a puzzle game, who would have expected it? And he's slightly ahead of me, ever so slightly ahead of me. But hopefully I'll be able to catch up uh, by placing pieces more smooth than him. Uh, unless he, you know, he slows me down like this just a little bit, but that's okay. Because I got auto, auto power for the win. Go, auto power, go! Use your automotive powers. Wait a second, that doesn't make any sense. But hey, that's what I do. I don't make any sense in my commentary. Well, okay, sometimes I do. And looks like he's using auto and he's gonna finish right next to me. I guess the difficulty of this game is getting pretty close to each other. Uh, I should say in terms of speed, you know, like uh, in terms of racing to finish the puzzle faster than each other. But uh, let's just wait. No, no, I won't do that. I will wait and get this. Yeah! Happy little puzzle piece. Oh, and he, he just used the thing that slows us down. Dang it. But that's okay. We're still faster than him. Me and little puzzle piece, we go way back. We go way back to my childhood, you know? We're, we're homies. We solve puzzles together all day long. Yeah, we're awesome like that. You can just put that last piece in there if you want to. And that's the end of puzzle number three. I'm just going to slow him down for the heck of it. Uh, just so he doesn't get that last uh, helper there. I think it's going to be his helper. If I'm not mistaken by that set that he's got. Yep. Oh, reverse controls, reverse controls. No, not the reverse controls. And I'm just messing up where to <laughs> where to put the puzzle pieces in general. Oh no, now he's slowing me down. At least the reverse controls are ending now. And and okay, and I'm still way far ahead of him. I'm seven pieces ahead of him, as you can see by that little bar between us. You can see those red dots between us. Yeah, those actually indicate how many pieces we have solved on our sides. So that's kind of like an indication of how fast we're working on each puzzle. Uh, it's, it's a nice way to be able to check on your opponent really quickly if you have to. Uh, so yeah, we're solving a fish. It appears to be the angel variety. And I do love my fish, as you know, as I've said in many other walkthroughs. They're just so cute with their little pouty lips. Okay, they're not really pouty. But they're more like suction-y, but you get the idea. I'm just talking randomly and sweeper attack! Oh no! He hit the mirror! What have I done? <laughs> I didn't notice that he hit the mirror. No! This is actually going to be a pretty close match because of that. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness, what's going on? I don't know, it's so close, so very close, must slow him down. That might be what I need to win this match. 
I didn't pay attention that he put a mirror up, but I think I've got this battle anyway. Unless he slows- Oh no! Who knew this could be so exciting at the last minute? Oh. Down to the last piece! <laughs> that was freaking epic! Alright, say goodbye, Tinker Belganoff, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Whew.